Well, hey guys and gals, as it would be appropriate to say, and make sure that I'm not being sexist, misogynistic. Um, I was just finishing up a straight razor for a customer. I had two come in, and I did this one, and uh, it came out great. This one, this is a really, really nice razor. Um, I've sharpened for him a few times. He says that it's like, when I get done with it, it's just, it's insane sharp. He loves it. But his other razor didn't go as well, um, just because when you don't maintain a uh, carbon steel straight razor, you're gonna run into problems. And he has a spot. I may try to do some macros if I have time, I'm not sure, but he has a spot where there was some rust, where basically the edges on these are so thin that um, the rust has basically cut all the way through the edge and it now looks like a nick when you look at it but when you look at the other side you can see where the rust has just eaten through and I'm gonna have to put significantly more work into that for him than than I thought you know I, I had looked at it I didn't see the rust on one side I told him I'd get to take a good look at him he just dropped him off um, I say his return customer but one of the things that I wanted to talk about today was I've I've said before um, step out here, put this back in the bucket. Um, when I sharpen knives, I take them all the way up to like 10, 12,000 grit, depending on what the customer wants, or I can leave them at 1,000. But there's a different difference on how you do go through the grit progression on a knife than you would on a straight razor. And there's a reason for that. A straight razor's edge has to be super, super fine. And if there's any inconsistencies in that edge, you have you're gonna wind up with spots that pull and tug and it's not gonna be as comfortable a shave I mean it'll still cut you can get away with you could probably get away with a tooth uh, you know an eight, a six thousand grit five thousand grit on a straight razor but it's not gonna be as comfortable a shave as like if you take it all the way up to twelve thousand now on a knife you can go from a six hundred grit stem and, and skip to like a two thousand grit because you're not going to be doing super fine on the skin we worry about cutting with comfort so if there's a little bit of that previous scratch pattern that doesn't get all the way out it's not that big a deal it's just it's you won't even sometimes you won't even notice it when you look at a mere polished edge so i've been known to go on a knife from 600 grit to 2000 grit from 2000 grit to 3000 grit 3000 grit to eight to 10,000 grit and skip some of those steps because you can get away with that on a knife. Now on a straight razor you can't. So you, if you start on a 600 grit, you're gonna have to spend a lot of time on a thousand grit and then progressively going up um, to make sure that that scratch pattern, if you've had to go really low, like the straight razor that was in really good shape, I was able to start on a 5,000 grit stone because it didn't need to be repaired it didn't need any of that work it just basically I took it from the 12,000 grit where it was at back and started at 5,000 grit and then worked my way up 5,000 grit 8,000 grit 10,000 grit 12,000 grit and then I hit my straps half my or one micron and half micron so you're not having you're not adding any deep deep scratches and those the chocera stones that I use the Naniwa super stones chocera stones that I use for that or they cut really uniformly so um, they're not there's no large particles of abrasive in there that's going to leave deep scratches that you would have to account for like on the other stones so grit progression sometimes is very important but then there's times it's not so like I said outdoor 55 is another guy that does a lot of freehand sharpening and he talks about is it necessary to do the grit progression and I would agree with him on a knife. A lot of times it's not. A lot of times you can go to three, 4,000 grit and hit a strop and you're gonna wind up with something that's just as good. I personally prefer to go up through because the polished edges last longer. He did a video about that not too long ago about how they, because of the reduction in the friction, because it is polished, um, there's less for the abrasives to bite onto to, to cause the edge to roll and, and, and deform as easily because it is more polished. But a lot of that's just a personal preference. So that was one of the things that I wanted to talk about. That was basically this video. I, I had decided I was gonna do it the last batch of straight razors I had. And then these came in 
And I'm like, yeah, I really need to do that as to why the grit progression sometimes is really important. But it's determined by what you're sharpening. Now, I do the full-on grit progression on these, the knives that Elliot Williamson sends me. This is one of the maker's choice that has come in. Um, there's going to be a bunch more probably coming Friday. Um, these, because of the aesthetics, I don't want there to be any issue with this will go super, super coarse, and then I'm going to work it up all the way up through every grit that I have until I get to the 12,000 grit and then strop it just because Elliot wants the maker's choice to have that mirror polished edge to go out to their customers. I can't blame me. So there's that. Now, we also have something to talk about. We're at uh, ni almost 990 subscribers. That deserves a toast. Cheers, guys. Um, whew, that stuff is good. So, we are going to do the giveaway. Um, it's going to be, once we hit a thousand, I'm gonna post a video, it's gonna be a quick three minute video basically telling everyone, you gotta keep your eyes open for it, that I'm gonna do the giveaway. The giveaway will be done, everybody gets a chance to ask a question, a uh, question and answer thing. Um, Please stick to the one question. I don't want to have to go through all the comments and see who doubled up. But everybody that writes a comment goes in a notebook. They get assigned a number. And um, I think five, I, I think I'm going to do three or five days. I'm not sure which. Three or five days later, I'm going to go through and I'm going to count up all of the question and answer, figure out how many numbers there are, assign everybody a number, and then I'm going to use a random number generator and we're going to give that tough um, away, that Boker tough. Um, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad, it's, a, it's actually a really nice knife. I'm just probably never gonna carry it um, because it just, it's not something that I could comfortably carry in my day to day. I carry a, a pocket knife. And I went to some sketchy neighborhoods today, so this happened to be what was in my pocket today because I like this. So we're gonna do that and then I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna offer either this or the Endura up for sale because I right now get enough on my Patreon that I can spend more now. So what the plan is, is on the Patreon, I get $76 a month right now-ish on Patreon. I'm gonna buy something cheap, which I did, um, I'm gonna buy this. I bought this. This was right about $75. And then when I sell either this or the Endura for about 60 bucks, um, I will add that money into the next month's $76. And I'm gonna keep a tally of how much I have to spend. And we will get things on the channel. And then I'm gonna turn them around and sell them at a reduced, you know, a little bit less because they have been carried. Um, and I'm gonna offer it to you guys first. And if no one on the channel bites, then I will do it on Instagram. And if you guys don't follow my Instagram, you should. I do live feeds. I just got done doing one. I was actually sharpening the one straight razor when I did it. And I was talking to them about grip progression. And um, Nathan at Rat Bastard Knives asked me about the tape on the spine, which is something that, you know, we have discussed it on the channel at length, not to nauseam about the fact why I don't do it, because apparently he'd never seen it. And uh, so I explained about the edge geometry piece and things like that. So it, it's nice to transition from here. I do live feeds on Instagram. I'm probably gonna do a live feed on here. Um, I may do the live feed for the giveaway. That might be what I do. The giveaway might be a live feed. I'm not sure yet. But uh, now I had, uh, I had kind of a long day. Elliot came and picked up his dog this afternoon. He stopped by the house uh, with his girlfriend. And they picked up the dog. They picked up Bobby. And uh, so I was had a conference call that I had to, to dial into then. And then I had a little bit of paperwork that I'd do. So it's it's almost 7 o'clock. It's right around 6.40-ish. Um, and I'm just getting around to doing this video. Um, 
it, I am getting more busy with the Aflac insurance thing, which is a good thing, but the, the thing that bothers me about that is it's to, it's interfering with this, and I don't really want to interfere with this. I would love to be able to, to do this and, and, and the knife sharpening, and I could do both together. And I mean, if I could do that full time, we'd have a lot more than 221 videos on this channel. But like I said, almost a thousand. Uh, I appreciate all you guys' comments about my daughter's skating. She is amazing, and they are back, and it was great to uh, to get to spend some time with them. I took two days off last week, so I took Thursday, Friday off, and then I, I worked for a couple hours on Friday, but I took Thursday, Friday off, and was home Saturday and Sunday. She went to, today was her first day back to school, uh, so I picked her up after school today because I needed to be at the office for a meeting this morning, so I didn't take her. But uh, no, that's pretty much it, you guys. You guys are great. I reached out to uh, Matt Carricker, Car Car I think that's Matt Carricker on Demolition Ranch, and told him that you know I would, I would love to to try and either I'll drive out there on a weekend or or something and see if we can do a collaboration video. Outdoor Fifty Five and I have talked about it. I'm gonna. We were talking about he he did some. Um, some obscure sharpening videos. I'm going to duplicate those and we're gonna kinda tag each other in them. I'm gonna go back. So he did one on sharpening on the bottom of a coffee cup. Um, I have some garbage knives that I can make sure are really dull and, uh, and then sharpen them. But there's one that I learned years ago and it's how to sharpen on your car window. And so I'm gonna shoot that video and I'm gonna tag him in it and then he's going to do basically the same video and we're going to tag each other back and forth. It's going to be like a long distance collaboration. So I'm going to get with him and find out we're going to do that, how we're going to do that, when we're going to do it, find out when works for him and things like that. But he's he's got some really good videos. If you haven't ever watched it, it's Outdoors, Outdoor or Outdoors 55. Um, I'll put a link to his channel in the description down down here below, below us. Um, I don't want you guys to think that it's I don't care about content, but I'm never gonna be that guy that puts up the fancy thumbnails and things like that. I would much rather spend the time doing things and showing them um, for you guys than spending the time to do a fancy thumbnail. Because a lot of that, Outdoor 55 does, Outdoor 55 does do thumbnails, but his videos are pretty good. A lot of times when I see, a, a channel that has these really fancy thumbnails there's I hate to say it there's just not much to the content you know what I mean so I think that's pretty much it so we had the vlog video we've got this one I've got some other videos that I want to do I'm gonna take some pictures of some of the makers choice as I sharpen them so that you guys can throw them in uh, I really don't want to show too many of them because Chris and Elliot do a reveal video um, I could probably get a video and do it and then then put mine out after theirs um, and as things come up with that Ferrum Forge mass drop thing there are things in the works and I can't tell you what they are but as they come up you guys will get to see prototypes of them on the channel here because uh, Elliot's a good friend and he allows me to do that he allows me to borrow his knives all the time trust me to sharpen let's put it this way thousand dollar fucking knife they have no reservations handing them to me I walked in, I was like, hey, that knife over there ready? And, and Chris was like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, grab it. So, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I'm actually going to go in, probably take a shower, spend some time with my wife and kid. Um, it's been a busy day. I will keep you guys in a loop, like I said, about the giveaway. I really want to get that. I want to get it set up the right way and get it done right. Because I, I want this to be... I want this channel to be successful for all of us because I enjoy interacting with you guys. I, inter I mean, even the goofy, stupid troll comments. I get a kick out of them, I laugh at them, and then, then I respond and then I block them uh, because I really don't want to, uh, you guys to have to deal with, uh, with the stupidity that, that does come out of this sometimes. So I had a guy actually... <laughs> I had a guy actually message me on Facebook. He, did, he wouldn't even put his comments in in the comment section. He had to send it to me personally. And he said, oh, you're fucking retarded. And if you think that it makes sense to pay 
someone less because they don't work as well, then that's just, that's retarded and that's dumb. And I was like, so I asked the guy, I was like, do you own a company? Because that'd be great. Because I mean, if you're willing to pay me $20 to do a half-assed job while the other guy over here busts his ass and I can just rest and not really do much, yeah, I'll come work for you all day. So I didn't get a response back from that. So, you know, that was my rant about US manufacturing. But. All right, guys, not a lot to this video. Um, I may do a video of me actually fixing this razor, but you know, you guys have seen me sharpen razors before. The kitchen knives, I'm sorry, the kitchen knives from the British company. I talked with Matt in England and I told him that, I, I asked him, you know, hey, are we still doing this? I hadn't heard anything for a while. Apparently they've been really busy. I've seen advertisements for their knives on several other websites. And so that you guys know, this is not going to be so much a review. I'm basically going to do a video for them. They are going to give me commission on sales. Um, if, I, I'm, let me rephrase that. I will give it a glowing review if it's a good knife, but I am gonna do a shave video that they're gonna use as a commercial because they found me via seeing me shave with a knife. So that's been the deal. They've already talked to me, so I don't want you guys to be surprised. I wanna keep it transparent. They are sending me the knives. They are offering me a chance to get commission on sales through a link and they are going to put my video on their website and it will help the channel and it should get me a lot more views. But I just, like I said, want to be transparent about that. That's, that's something that's happening. Um, I would never, I would never do a review on something that I was getting paid to review if I didn't tell you. Uh, you would definitely know if I'm doing, getting paid to do a review. Everything that I've done so far, all of it has un unsolicited, unsponsored, um, it's just been things that I've been lucky enough to have come in. So, all right guys, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to get a Monday video out. I will try to do, I'll try to do at least three videos this week. I can't promise anything, but I'll try. So it's pretty busy right now. It's the end of, it's the end of the quarter for Aflac, so we're pretty busy. Um, I might do a different lubricants for different knives video and things like that. So, all right guys. I get on here and then I just rant and I rant and I ramble and I, I fly and I just, I, next thing I know I've got a 20 minute video. So, um, yeah. So all you guys, my birthday's coming up. Cheers to that. And I will see you guys later and I'll talk to you next time.